All right, so on this video, we're looking to find the present value. And uh, we are looking to find it for $800 per quarter for seven years at 12% per year, compounded quarterly. So on this problem, we need to figure out what all our values are. So using our present value formula, we're going to have uh, R, we're going to have little r, we will have N, and we will have T. So our big R is our payment of $800 per quarter. The rate is 12%. Again, you have to write it as a decimal. So you're moving the decimal place over two points. The N is how many times per year. Quarterly is four times a year. And the number of years that's happening is going to be seven. Now our formula for present value is going to be our PV equal to R with 1 minus 1 plus R over N raised to the negative NT all over R over N. So all we have to do is plug in our values. So this is going to equal our R which is 800 times 1 minus 1 plus our rate of r, little r, is 0.12 over 4 raised to the negative, so that's part of the formula, 4 times t, which is 7. Now the main thing on here is putting this in your calculator completely, and this will be uh, 0.12 over 4. So if you're putting it in your calculator, you have to add an extra set of parentheses to include the whole um, numerator and the whole denominator. And if you have a TI 83 or 84, you're going to need a set of parentheses around the entire multiplication process. If you have a simpler calculator and it has a little box with the X on it, you don't have to do that. And this parenthesis should actually be around our negative sign. It has to include the negative. All right, so when you plug that all in, if you get it in your calculator correctly, you should get 15011.29. So $15,011.29. Now let's look at doing a word problem that uses present value. Now, remember that present value is something that you use to MRIs with or to look at with uh, car loans, house loans, and such. So we're looking at auto financing here with Billy, who made a down payment of $6,000 for the purchase of a new car. To pay the balance of the purchase price, he has secured a loan from his bank at the rate of 12% per year, compounded monthly. On the terms of his agreement, he is required to make payments of $400 a month for five years, and we want to find out how much was the car. So in this, we are again using, we're going to use the same formula that we used in the previous problem for present value. And we're going to need to know what our R is, what our little r, what our T and our N equal. So as we're looking through here, the little r is going to be 12% again, so 0.12. Our payments that we're making is $400. And our T is equal to 5. We're paying it for 5 years. And the number of times we're doing this is 12 because we are doing it monthly. So we need to plug those values in and figure out what our uh, rate pays the car. So here we'll have PV is equal to 400. Remember, this is the same formula that we used a minute ago. Uh, 400 times our 1 minus 1 plus 0.12 over 12 raised to the negative 12 times 5 all over 0.12 over 12. Now remember, just like in the previous problem, you have to include parentheses for the entire uh, numerator, the entire denominator, 
And if you have a TI-83 or 84, you need parentheses when you raise it to the power. When you plug this in, you should get the value of $17,982.02. But this is not quite what you actually paid for the car. When you're looking at the question was, how much was the car? Remember that you have the $6,000 that you paid uh, as a down payment. So really you have to add that $6,000. And when you add that 6,000, you'll actually get a price of $23,982.02. Now, if we want to actually discuss what you totally paid, now that was how much the car cost. What did you total pay? So if we want to look at the total paid for the car, including interest and everything, then this is where we'll have our present value, I'm sorry, our R, our R times our N times T. So R times N times T will equal the total paid. So our payment is $400, our N is 12 times a year, and then this is times five years. So our total payments would be 24,000. And remember, you put a down payment on that, so you have to add the $1,000, and that'll get you a total of $30,000 for the price of the car. So that would be the total that you paid, including interest.